The roles have flipped. We got Bridget here. We're gonna get her to put a stake in. I mean, your whole trailer is like on a tilt. So With what happened? Hi everybody, Bridget with Jumped Orange, and today I am actually in North Carolina with Woo! Kevin McCoy, following around all fun bouncing inflatables, seeing how he runs his party rental business in the mountains. So oh, yeah. I know it's definitely a different environment, a different atmosphere, maybe different demands from your customers. So oh. I'm really excited to see how you do your business. Definitely, and I'm willing to show you guys around. I hope you have fun. We had four stops today because we knew we had a special guest here, Bridget. Yay! So we're glad to see her and glad to have a, a good time and we're gonna show her around the mountains a little bit. Awesome, let's see how it's done. All right, see let's ya. Go. This is our Cali Palms combo. This is a bounce house with an attached dual lane slide. The pool is detachable, so you can remove it for dry rentals in the winter or if you're doing anything indoors. The pool is a deep pool. And you just stake right through your tarp. Yep, a little bit easier on us. Yeah. They try to clean tarps all the time. So if you had a sandbag right now, would you charge them extra to sandbag? Yes, we do charge extra for sandbags because you got to think everything that you do with this cost somewhere and sandbags are heavy for your trailers. You go through trailers and I know you carry weight of uh, inflatables, but sandbags is a whole new ball it's game. It's got to take like the weight for gas too, right? Yep. For yep. the vehicle. Are you going to fill the pool now? Or are you going to like- uh, We'll let the customer because the party doesn't start till a little bit later. So we let the customer fill the pool that way, you know, drowning, anything like that. It's very important that, oh. you know, our company is not liable for something that happened. If say for instance, the parents or whoever rented from us is not here. You don't want the, the problems of court or anything like that so we let the customer fill up we tell them to fill up about an hour or so ahead of time once they fill up we tell them to hook the hose to the, the leader hose over there a lot of people don't think about it but when you have little kids you know the stories you know before i did this i was a firefighter for a little bit oh. so um it's one of those things where you got to make sure that you're taking care of the customer because guess what something happens to their kid that whole party experience that they had is now ruined right. because something happens so the branding, they know who you are. Look, you got the dunk tank on the back. Yep, ready to go. Oh, and perfect, you have bounce houses, water slide, obstacle courses, bounce house with slide, dunk tank, foam party, inflatable putt putt, ax throwing, and trackless train all listed. So right when they see your brand, they already know all the awesome things that you could provide. Exactly. This house has a crazy steep driveway, no way to turn around. So Kevin actually had to back up his whole trailer and truck. One thing with these inflatable rentals is you really just don't know what kind of environment the customer is gonna have. So you have to be ready to roll with the punches, have that, you know, to-do attitude where you're gonna figure it out and stay calm and get the job done, so. One cool thing that Devin told me yesterday is because he lives on like a slope, the slope actually helps him drain the inflatable it's good and bad in the mountains because usually mountain slopes are a lot worse than flatland slopes. Yeah. So which one is this? This is the Cali Palms dual lane slide. And like even with the mountains, the palm trees are popular. Yeah, because everybody wants to be at the beach when they're in mountains. Yeah. <laughs> so with this setup, the customer, you know, Kevin gave him a recommendation. Hey, there's a slope and I think you should set it up this way based off the slope. But the customer really wanted it a specific way because They've got this really nice porch up here and they want to be able to look down at the inflatable, at the kids playing. So Kevin is putting it the way that the customer asked and that way he can make them happy, but also educating them so that way they understand, you know, why the water is going a certain way. So with this slide, are you going to pull on those tether straps as it goes up? I am once we get it uh once we get the uh the slide going. The reason Kevin will pull on those tether straps is to help manipulate it upwards so it doesn't inflate and like fall on the side because then it's really hard to get it back up again. And so Kevin with all of your slides and your wet inflatables you leave an attached hose, correct? For the most part, yeah. It it just makes it so much easier when you're on site. Um so you don't have to really worry about the extra stuff to do because you don't zip tie those up there good it just makes a mess and you just want it as easy as possible for the customer like i said oh yeah we so look you at actually it. zip tied them in place yeah so jenny i heard you talking a minute ago kevin was not the first company you called so what was your experience like when you called that first company i had never ordered or reserved any sort of bounce house slide we have a couple companies here in the local area 
I called both of them. The first guy I called said to go on his website, Google something. When I called Kevin, he was like, have you looked at the website? And then he answered all of my questions. And I didn't care if he was more expensive or not. He wasn't, but I wasn't sure if he was going to be. Yeah. And at that point it didn't matter because he took the time to answer my questions and then hang out with me a bit. So we are at our third stop and they had balloons all along the way. We could see them on the street signs leading to this house. So I'm assuming this is a birthday party today. I mean, it's just been like one steep driveway after another. Yep. I mean, your whole trailer is like on a tilt, you know? It's yep. like, so even the dolly, like I can't even imagine doing a manual dolly up here. Ah, uh, we did it for four years. It was terrible. How many years in are you now? Six or seven. I think we're seven. Oh, that's awesome. When you started out, were you still working full time? I was. And then we got to the point where it's, you have to make a choice. <laughs> so it's a dry rental in the driveway. Slash grass. Yeah. And it was their choice to do it dry? It was their choice, yeah. So Kevin, this is a 15 foot slide, correct? Galaxy 5. 5? <laughs> 5 foot slide? <laughs> no, it's not the slide, it's a combo. Oh, it is. Yeah. Kevin, do you usually carry sandbags in the truck just in case? No, not unless they're on the trailer from an event before. It has to be it's something that's communicated before. Correct. Yeah. Because if they don't have it, they're out of luck. I mean, we hate to be that way, but we asked all the questions before, beforehand, before we even start a party. They wanted to slide down in the um, the grass right here. Yeah. So this is about kind of adjusted to where we can make sure that they're everybody's sliding safe and there's still room in between the rocks because the safety is more important than anything right um here's a little rockway right here it's flat on the concrete and flat on the uh the driveway so we're gonna stake down right there in the um stake point other than that we should be good so kevin actually has a sign here that showcases his company so he did get the vinyl sign printed so on the side of the bouncer and that way if guests are here and they're wondering hey who's this from they can actually call his company get his information and follow up on that right away so you never know even at a birthday party you might get some good leads for your next rental so kevin can you kind of tell me about what it's like to detach the pool is it pretty easy to do it's easy to do if you're not in a rush we try not to put ourselves in that situation yeah um, so you did this off site just so yeah. that it's like ready when you get here yeah. so this this is the square i'm talking about if you open that up obviously velcro the the square that goes against it and then this on the top so you can see and then this one on the very top so you can see how it can take a minute so With, what happens? We have a lot of hills in Asheville and everything. You can have the trailer jack up. We just went ahead and got a new jack so we can go ahead and replace it just because, you know, when you go up hills and... So you had an extra one in your vehicle? Yes, yes. And what happened was you were going up a hill and it, it like, bent yeah, it? Yeah, it, it can be all the way up. And if it just, if it bends, if the hill bends just right, it'll it'll bring the jack back. Um, I feel like most people who get in this industry, they'll buy this nice trailer and they might not even think about that yeah, issue stuff, happening. Yeah, stuff, well, good thing you yeah. had the park because oh, we yeah. got to go drop that dunk tank yeah, next, right? Exactly. All right, we are at our fifth stop of the day. This is at a church. It's actually an event that's happening tomorrow, but Kevin is setting up now. So Kevin's out here walking around and trying to figure out where he's going to set everything. So especially with an event this big where he's got a ton of inflatables and dunk tanks and all these things going out, they're going to have probably other stuff at the event. He really needs to to think it out logically, where are they gonna put stuff? Hey guys, it's Kevin here with All Fun Bouncing Inflatables. The <laughs> roles have flipped. We got Bridget here. We're gonna get her to put a stake in. Oh goodness. I better not knock myself out. <laughs> well, that's a personal issue if you do. Doing an amazing job here. Oh! Stay tuned for more. Yes. She's gonna roll one later with me. <laughs> Wait, how many steaks you got a steak in? Yeah, that's from, uh, Jump Orange needs to calm down on these steaks, steak points. <laughs> the kids are already super excited, it looks like. Kevin's got the dunk tank going out. This dunk tank does not fit in the trailer. So would you say that the dunk tank usually goes out with the inflatables? Uh, sometimes. It sometimes goes out by itself. Like 4th of July, it definitely goes out by itself. Does it help drive more sales to your business, would you say? It can be, 
but at the same time, you got to think this is the size of probably two inflatables in the back of a trailer. Yeah, there's so no you like. You think the cost efficient balance, but it is a good option to have. So, I mean, this is a large scale event. You got the dual lane slide, the combo, three games, and now the dunk tank. It's a pretty hefty setup, too. This is not like easy money. All right, so we are back at one of our stops to pick up, and Kevin. <laughs> He's gonna make me roll. But yeah, this is, it's already past 5 p.m. So we've been out all day long and it doesn't stop. We got another pickup after this, so. Oh, that was all Kevin. All right. I barely did anything. <laughs> Make sure we're recording too. Do Don't you miss this. <laughs> Are you coming too? I'll yeah. have to.